Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero Players and all of you two that do watch my videos. Happy New Year. Of course, by the time this is up, I will probably be, at least where I'm living, an hour, hour and a half before the New Year. But yes, Happy New Year. I know I, it's been a bit since I've been able to record. That was before Christmas, just because family was here. Some family left. I hadn't even started planning yet, and then more family showed up, so and it's been crazy. <laughs> so, but yes, I just want to talk about that new year that I'm hoping for, for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. What can I hope for? What can I not hope, you know, wh what, I know what we're going to be, some, some of the stuff I know we're going to get, but some of it I'm, you know, I'm not going to do any promises like um, Arnold T. 101, where he's like, if I don't get, like, General Grievous... <laughs> I delete my channel. You better go watch his channel deletion video. It's really interesting. He also does a song in it. It's his last video. In a sense. <laughs> but anyway, so, yes. I want to talk about what I want to hope for and expect. And, you know, things that could actually be improved upon in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for the year of 2019. So, first off, as you can see on screen... General Grievous. I, too, am on board with General Grievous, but also other droids, being HK-47. For some of those fans, uh, like Urzatron, Lobot, you know, let's get some droids, some love this year. Yes, let's get some Galactic Republic and Jedi and Separatist and Geonosians, but let's also give the droids time to shine again. So that there's a mixture of teams. I'm getting tired of seeing just Revan, 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 Treya, Treya, Revan, Revan, Palpatine, Treya, Treya, Revan, 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 all at the top of the arena. So let's get in, and, you know, let's get some droids. Let's see Grievous, Grievous, Grievous. So we can go Revan, Revan, Grievous, Grievous, Revan, Treya, Revan, Revan, Grievous, 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 Revan, Grievous, Grievous. <laughs> Add Grievous in there. Or Revan, Revan, Grievous, Treya, Grievous, Palpatine, Grievous. Trail Lobot, it's just, just, just a mixture up. Like, yes, there's a lot of teams in the top 200. Because I've even, because I, I fight between 200 to 100 range. I run into First Order, I run into Bounty Hunters, Treya, Revan, just uh, lots of teams. So, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I don't mean to have a cold or anything, but. Next, Mythic Raids. And what rewards we can get. So yes, there's been tease and talk about a mythic raid. Um, and I agree. The the pit, um, the Rancor raid, and the AAT raid, they need some love. They need some love and support. Um, of course, I feel like the tank raid should also have phases 1 through, or tiers 1 through 4. Or 1 through 5, I should say. So that lower guilds can at least get some more rewards and work on another raid. Eh, but uh, I guess I guess then again the tank raid is more for mid tier, while <laughs> Sith raid high end tier. But um, thoughts of the raid? So mythic or for the mythic raid on the Rancor raid, um, I I think they could always either cut one of the Rancor uh, phases with the door. I don't know why it has to. I I don't know why it has to, but whatever. Cut one of those so that you can get, before you fall down in the pit and fight the Gamorrean guards, there's a phase with bounty hunters. So in the back, kind of like the AAT when it's crashed, you have Jabba the Hutt and he issues orders, gives buffs, stuff like that. That's He's not a target. But then you got Boba Fett, Dengar, and uh, Bosk. Those three bounty hunters were in the uh, uh, Jabba's palace at the time of Return of the Jedi. You just got to really see him. Of course, everyone knows Boba Fett was there because he falls in the pit. But Dengar and Bosk, they just blend in with the crowd and then just disappear. I think they were also on the sail barge. So they might have jumped off onto the sand side where they got away. Um, but yeah, I feel like that would be kind of cool. I'm sure not just it, just, it wouldn't just be three those three bounty hunters. Unless they decide to do it kind of similar to the Phase 4 Sith Raid. Where they have like certain increments, and then you take out Boba Fett, you take out Dengar, and you take out, um, um, uh, blah 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 blah, Bosk. <laughs> so yeah, that would be an interesting challenge to the raid, in my opinion. 
Um, for the reward, though, I feel like, one, they would still have Raid Han at, in the Mythic tier because it'd be kind of messed up to just go back and forth between the two. But the other one, the only other one I can think of, we'd get a Light Side Bounty Hunter, but it would be Leia in Bosch Disguise. Huh? Huh? Maybe she could be the Thermal Queen. Even though I'd hate that, but, you know, which maybe she could be the Thermal Queen, because she does hold a Thermal Detonator! Um, for the tank, I have no idea on the how to change it to Mythic Raid. Maybe add some phases where it's, you have Geonosians, because you're on Geonosis. <laughs> maybe the first phase, instead of running into Grievous, you run into Poggle the Lesser, Sunfac, you know, something like that. That was just thinking on the spot. But the raid reward, two raid rewards, because obviously you'll still get Django, G or General Kenobi. I feel like you could get General Skywalker and um, the Twilight ship from the Clone Wars animated TV series. So that we have another ship, we have a uh, General Skywalker. He wouldn't be as strong as Jedi Knight Anakin, but he would be there. So that's kind of my thoughts on Mythic Raids. Please, no Sith Mythic Raid. We don't need that for another three, four years. <laughs> um, and here, and throughout the rest of this video, I'm definitely going to be talking about other areas that can be improved, like right here. They got rid of the achievements uh, because they moved them in quests, but right here. What could we see there? We could see, um, in my opinion, should be squad management. It's so annoying to go into any sort of battle, and you got to hope that you have energy or you're not in a time or a countdown like in squad arena. Just to go into your squad ma management, come on, allow us to do this, CG. Allow us to be able to select a button, go in, shoot, you know, work with your squads. And be done. You don't have to battle or anything. But that's just one thing I'd like to see. Next, the ma or the character shards. Why not? We recently got um this year mod management. With that, we got mod battles updated with a new. I think it was mod battles where you get the gear pieces to update mods. Why not? And those ones have uh, three, which is essentially they every. Every battle you do, you have a chance to get one to three of those pieces. It would speed it up a little bit, not too drastic, especially these higher tiered nodes. But why not have us have a chance of one to three, four shard or characters, character shards? Why not? How good is that? And if it's with a ship, maybe one to two. Um, but just a little way to, sp it's not a major amount if they keep the percentage the same. Speed us up, allow us to speed up a little bit. We don't have to have the double drop ever hit the shards, but at least allow us to speed up. Even, even the gear could be, you know, it allows us to farm a little, just a little faster. It's not so much faster, but it's not, you know, taking forever. Doing 16 battles and you get maybe one shard out of both times. Come on. We, we got to have a little bit more chance than that. So that's why I'm saying hopefully they kind of up this a little bit. Do something because they keep throwing all these new characters on hard nodes. It's ridiculous. Um, next, <clears throat> shipments. Like, of course, obviously here on the left, uh, you see the Grand Arena, the new, new area, game mode. But it replaced a couple of these little tables. Will we see new shipments or will these be, you know, new little events or battles who knows but i wouldn't mind seeing some new shipment options because they've declared that uh they're not going to be doing any more adding new characters to shipments so why not have some mixture of shipments so you get a mixture of different characters and gear and then they have every time they refresh after so many hours they give you say like for example it's jango fat shards you get five jango fat shards for 400 uh, galactic power or galactic uh, galactic war currency, but then it refreshes again and it's uh, a squad arena currency. So it changes every time. Let's let's have this. Let's have this for 2019. Some sort of improvement to some of these new characters because we've added so many. They've added so many characters, and not just new characters, but some of the older characters you kind of made a little bit harder when you take them off nodes. Um, but I, I could be wrong on those, those ones. Cause a lot of those older ones they've been replacing have had like three spots, four spots, and I'm okay. Them going down to at least two spots, but still come on, um, ship modes. 
this one. Let's make ships better. Because ships stale still. Yes, we got we got fleet battles. We got fleet arena. We got fleet challenges. Then we got territory wars and the new grand arena. But come on. Come on, CG. Let's get something to make ships more viable. Yes, I know some people are saying this is Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, not Galaxy of Ships. In my personal opinion, yes, I'm I'm definitely in the game for ships. That's what I started the game for. But I do like the idea of ships because I am a big fan of Star Wars ships. Um, and if we can have make ships better, oh man, I'd be playing it more. But I'm still I'm still for for some reason I think it's because no one's been really playing ships. For the longest time, for like a month and a half, I've been stuck at rank 300. I just go in and back out, and I leave it at 300. Every now and then I try a battle, but then I lose, and it's like, whatever. Um, but yes, yeah, ships, I just wish there was more for ships. Maybe a Galactic War ship type trail thing. Maybe not as many battles, and but still giving us a chance to go through it. And then after you battle and beat it 25 times, that's when we can, you know, sim it, of course, but at least give us something for ships. Um, next, they've recently changed it to where only any time you spend energy, bronzy or ally points is earned. They got rid of the challenges, the all the events and stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anytime you earn ally points, you have to spend energy for it. Makes sense. And then they move bronze impacts up. <laughs> that was annoying at first because, uh, and for some people, they actually bought 350 crystals packs. So, you know, that happens. But they move the bronze impacts to the front. Eh, I'm, I would have, in my personal opinion, I would have thrown in resources and threw it at the front of resources. I know it's kind of a little more tedious, but bronze impacts are just a lot of the times mostly free. But also, I hope they improve this. Again, I really would like some more options of, you know, being able to use ally points, spend ally points a lot. But at the same time, I've kind of gotten to the point of saving ally points because other than the new weekly store or weekly shipment store, I just, there's no other real use for ally points. And so I get up to 100,000 and spend 50,000 for whatever, you know, thing they have for the that's going for the week. So hopefully, hopefully in 2019, they actually allow us to, or they give us something more to use with ally points. Even if it's some of the older characters, the low-end tiered characters, maybe the characters that are always the basics, like the basic special unique type characters, like Biggs, not Wedge, but Biggs. Um, Stormtrooper, uh, First Order Stormtrooper, TIE Pilots. You know, those uh, lower tiers. Um, Geonosian Soldier, Geonosian Spy. Any of the characters with three abilities... Send them in, you know, costs a thousand for five. And maybe those, uh, you can't purchase a crystal refresh until, you know, it refreshes after every four hours or so in this shipment store. But something to give us a way to spend ally uh, points other than bronzing data cards. And if they're going to definitely keep data, uh, the bronzing data cards, please update it. Give us more characters, more ships, more gear, more you name it, just anything, just to improve that, because it's just this area has been stale for so long, since the beginning. Next, I'm going to be talking about two factions I hope to see, one being the Mandalorians. Duh, that would be phenomenal. One fa one of the biggest, best factions to come to Galaxy of Heroes is, should be the Mandalorians. We already got a few in-game. So we got these five. I mean, we only have six, so these five plus Sabine. But, you know, we've read the latest addition to the game has been Candor's Ordo, and I like his kit. And again, I have talked about um, making Gar Saxon great if Mandalorians were in, in faction. So I'm hoping, and I'm going to predict it, the Mandalorians are going to be coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes in 2019. Also, that's also because of the fact that we got. The Mandalorian TV show coming out um, later in the year. So that's where I can kind of see them wanting to add a Mandalorian faction. Having a Mandalorian faction pass. Oh man, that'd be so awesome. Oh yeah. Um, and then the other one is Wookiees. Sorry, I guess the blurry picture just went blurry on me for some reason. Bear with it, but yes, Wookiees. Wookiees, we already have five Wookiees in the game. 
We can re this will give us a good reason to rework Clone Wars Chewbacca, add General Tarful, and maybe one or two other Wookiees, uh, Wookiee Warriors, because I know I'm predicting we're also going to be doing some more Clone Wars era stuff. Like, you know, hopefully we'll get the clo clones again at the beginning of the video, General Grievous, all that, but hopefully we get Wookiees as a faction, because if we get Wookiees as a faction, that's going to be huge. Um, because all we have to do is rework, uh, Clone Wars Chewie uh, as one of the two leaders. Of course, I, I still like some characters being a character or a leader for all classes. So you can just, if you need an early character, there you go. Like Clone Wars Chewbacca is technically the earliest character you get between him, Consular, uh, e Ewok Scout. Yeah. Um, so Clone Wars Chewie should still be kind of an all but also still do something with kind of like what Rex does where he still gives bonuses to Wookiees and then give half those bonuses to um, non Wookiees. There you go. Like his defense up 50% defense. Well, it's actually says 50. So I think it's a little different than 50% unless it is 50%, but it says in its kit 50, but give like <clears throat> Wookiees 75% and other allies 50% kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Make Wookiees even tougher to deal with. Because they are tough to defeat. They are. They hit hard, but at the same time, they can take some hits. <laughs> Wookiees are scary. So are Wampas, too. But, you know, at least it'd be kind of cool to see. But other than that, that is all I have. This is what I'm hoping for in 2019. Um, please, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I do appreciate all those that have subbed throughout the year. I've gotten up to 145 subs. And I'm not growing as fast as I'd want to, but then again, I've been busy with life and also been having technical difficulties. I will, at the beginning, in the next couple of days, I'm going to be making a video on what's to come of the future of this channel. Uh, and so on and so forth. But until then, definitely have a wonderful new year. Be safe. If you're traveling, dry, travel safe. Keep warm if you're in the north or if you're in a cold area. If you're in the warm, you're like, I'm in Hawaii. It doesn't get cold here. Unless it's in the mountains or something. I don't know. Um, then, yeah, enjoy the warmth there. <laughs> or in, in like air, southern Arizona. But like the, the top half of the wherever it's cold and wintry you know stay warm stay safe travel safe in the snow and definitely be safe this new year's again thanks for watching i really appreciate all those watching videos i make please like comment subscribe and share and you guys have a wonderful day